Playing professional hockey is an incredibly unstable job, and today's video is about exactly that. My name is Travis Ridgen, and I spent last season playing for the Motor City Rockers in the FPHL, the fifth level of pro hockey in North America. But this season, there will be three brand new expansion teams, and that means one thing. An expansion draft later this month, and that is where I want to begin today's video. At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me, and chasing down my dream. Thank you for giving me the opportunity last year. All this is because you gave me an opportunity and allowed me to get my foot in the door with the league. And I want you to know that I am very thankful for what you've done for me. And yeah, it's all possible because of you. So thank you. So I got to give a big shout out to the uh, Richmond Olympic Oval. They basically allowed me to keep all my gear, all my sets of gear here. Uh, the apartment that Victoria and I share is like 500 square feet. So. As you can imagine, I'm going to be very single very fast if I stored all my equipment here. And I got a brand new Vapor 90 580 glove coming. Hyperlite 2 chest protector, which is basically going to be this, but just all white. G6 set, which is awesome. I got my sheath set, soon going to be sold and out the door. This storage room is going to get pretty full pretty fast if they don't evict me and start charging me for rent. This is my third skate back since I had hip surgery, and this is what I worked on. Like at that point, you're covering virtually the whole net. When it's on that angle and it hits there, it's going to end up going behind the net. It's still about eight weeks. I know, but if these videos are popping up, you're putting them online. All those coaches are watching you now. They want to see how you're recovering now. They want to see perfection now. For anybody asking, I can't afford to retire, so I'm going to play again next season. And probably a few <laughs> more seasons. My woman isn't happy with it, but it's what I'm going to do. Oh. Of the new gear? I really like it. Very square. Yeah, like that's 10 inches probably. Something I wouldn't know about. Well, I would. <laughs> so it's been exactly four months since I had season ending hip surgery, but in that time, I've been making record setting progress at Physio. I've been focused on regaining all of my pre surgery strength, my range of motion, and I recently got the green light to try putting some flexion on my hip via some hikes. And funny enough, the person that I know in my life that loves hikes more than anybody is my girlfriend Victoria. So we decided to go do a trip to Banff and Jasper before things start getting kind of hectic with the upcoming FPHL expansion draft, summer training, and the whole on ice schedule as we ramp up for the start of next season. So uh, we left Vancouver bright and early and headed to Jasper National Park first. And this was a 14 hour drive. And the first thing I did the next morning in Jasper was get some coffee because I'm addicted. After that, we hopped on the train, got off at Mount Robson Provincial Park to see the tallest point in the entire Canadian Rocky Mountains, Mount Robson. And the next day we did about 10 kilometers of actual hiking in Jasper, starting off with the Malign Canyon, which gives you an awesome view of the entire town of Jasper. Home to about 4,000 people, by the way. Next up was Medicine Lake, which to be honest, looks a little more apocalyptic than you'd probably think, but it was all due to a huge forest fire that happened about eight years ago. And then onto one of the most famous sites in Jasper, the Boathouse at Malign Lake, which was really cool. Granted, it was all frozen over, but still unreal sightseeing. And then on the way back into town, although I really wanted to see a mountain goat, we did find an elk just grazing on the side of the road. Now the next day, and this is going to be the Pyramid Mountain you'll see in the rear view mirror as we head out of Jasper, and we headed down the Icefields Parkway, which is about a three hour drive through the mighty, incredibly stunning Athabasca Falls. Really beautiful place here. Down to the Columbia Icefields, which I think may be the most jaw dropping scenery I've ever seen in my life and back onto the Trans-Canada Highway. Also, if that Pyramid Mountain did look familiar to you, it's because it is the same lake that I skated on outdoors in January of 2021, and it was stunning. Now, the next day, we headed to the famous Lake Louise to start our next hike, which is about two hours away to the Lake Agnes Tea House. And although it was totally frozen over when we got there, I can only imagine how cool it would have been when it thaws over the summer. Now, our final hike was about 90 minutes away in downtown Banff, up the Tunnel Mountain Trail, which features these two really huge red chairs at the top to enjoy the best view in the entire town of Banff. And directly behind us was, to be honest, even more spectacular mountain ranges and scenery. Uh, by the way, if you do want to see the full video on this, I'm going to do a dedicated video to this next Sunday on the channel. But enough of this, because after that, it was a 10 hour drive from our hotel in Golden, beautiful Golden, BC, back to Vancouver, and it was back to work for me. This guy is John. Now John is my new trainer here in Vancouver and we are literally trying to squeeze every ounce of mobility and range out of my new hip as it'll allow me. Internal rotation of the hip, control of my body in every single movement and most importantly, power. And I wanna prove a lot of people wrong next year with whatever FPHL team picks me up in the expansion draft later this month, which 
Let's talk about it for a second. What's the latest with you? What have you heard? What do you know? You're all healthy and ready to go for next season. Tell us what's up. So first off, there'll be an expansion draft taking place next month. There are three teams. The Baton Rouge Red Sticks. They're not called the Red Sticks. They're the Baton Rouge Pro Hockey Team. Wyattville, Virginia. And then the biggest one. This one was a surprise when I heard this one. The Danville Dashers are making a comeback. They're going to be returning for 2023. So there's three teams. The Motor City Rockers are going to be protecting the best goal in the league. Obviously, Trevor Babin. And yours truly is going to be unprotected. Baton Rouge, Wyattville, or Danville would have dibs at me if they so desired and so then they have seven days to sign me if there's no signing i become a free agent and then i can go wherever i please i don't care where it could be the gulf of mexico it could be baton rouge it could be motor city it could be fort mcmurray alberta if there's a team they're willing to give me 10 plus starts in the feds you know next year and i'm the genuine backup i don't care i will go there and that's where i'm gonna play in that league are you allowed to protect coaches too because i know coaches have been swapped he traded himself for a washing machine <laughs> <laughs> Good trade. Yeah, we really needed a washing machine. <laughs> you have to have like a like a top one or two. Like, are you manifesting anything? Are you closing your eyes and seeing that locker room, seeing that ice, seeing your surroundings? Is there anything that you're trying to work towards mentally? I'm not on the expansion protected list, so I'm up for grabs. He wants me to tell every single team that I'm not going to report to them so that he can take me. <laughs> I shouldn't be so cocky telling him I played 44 minutes and I'm, and I'm too good for you and Eric Lindros in them. No, no, don't pull that. Don't pull that. I said, if you're giving me a firm, I'm your number two guy, I'm not going nowhere. Maybe we can talk, but until then, like, I'm, I'm going to go where whoever's going to give me the opportunity first. And he's like, well, I can't guarantee you that. And I'm like, well, then I'm not doing that. Yeah, everybody can say all they want until the team actually comes. Like, that doesn't mean anything. The same thing in the SP, signing something doesn't mean anything. Talk to you later, bye. bye. And now word from today's video sponsor, World Hockey Manager. World Hockey Manager is a free game available on the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store for both iPhone and Android devices. The game is all about developing talent, scouting new signings, and training your players, building your arena and your facilities to prep your team to go head-to-head -head with the best from around the world in the daily ranked game and tournaments and this includes the world cup of hockey tournament going on right now at world hockey manager now in my previous experiences there's a lot of times where games like this can be very clunky and overwhelming for a lot of people especially considering that it's on your phone but i love how easy it is to set up world hockey manager get yourself up and running and let's be honest i also love taking my motor city rockers global to compete against the rest of the world in the online modes anytime i play and you can too just download world hockey manager and when you use the code trap sucks from the link in the video description you can redeem 100 coins worth 7.99 and it'll help you along the way as you choose to spend it on anything you like to help building your strategy and you can do that by redeeming the code by clicking on the settings button on the top left corner click on the green redeem voucher button and hey this game is backed by the great one wayne gretzky what more do you need I want to say thank you so much to the World Hockey Manager for sponsoring this video, making it possible. Now back to the regular scheduled vlog program. So I really want to find a beagle, and I finally convinced the boss to get a beagle. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Or if you're in the city of Vancouver and you need your beagle to be babysat, no. let, let me know. No. Yes, yes we'll be babysitting. No.